We'll use similar form to when we're trying to bend and curve the ball while shooting. However, make sure your right-footed players take corner kicks to the left of the flag. Also, left-footed players should take corner kicks to the right of the flag to ensure that the flag does not get in the way. Now, let's cover the form on how to do a curved corner kick. Number one, place the ball on the correct side of the flag. Right-footed players should put the ball on the arch to the left of the corner kick flag. Conversely, left-footed players should put the ball on the arch to the right of the corner kick flag. This ensures the flag does not get in the way. Number two, raise your hand prior to doing a corner kick. Unless you are taking a sneaky and quick corner kick, raising your hand lets your teammates know that the corner kick is coming. Number three, plant six inches from the ball and could you give this video a like? Because you're trying to get the ball to outswing, you need it to bend and curve in the air. Number four, strike the ball with the bone of your foot for how to kick a corner kick in soccer. This is the hardest portion of the foot where the leather meets the laces. Using this portion will ensure that you have enough power on your cross. This will make it harder for the goalkeeper because they will have little time to grab the ball or to punch it away. Number five, follow through and cross your legs for how to kick a soccer ball in a corner kick. Because we planted six inches away and we're using the bone of our foot, it makes it very easy for us to cross our legs after we strike that ball. By the way, I'm Dylan Joseph, trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. Pro tip, keep your head down to keep your soccer corner kick technique together. Lifting your head will lift your shoulders and result in a less accurate corner kick. Pro tip two, aim for the danger zone. The danger zone is the area between the six yard box and the penalty spot. This area Area is generally too far away from the goalkeeper for them to get the ball but close enough that a header from a teammate can still score on net. Pro tip three, have the correct height on the corner kick. Do not kick the ball super high into the air because it'll take more time going up into the air and more time coming down which almost ensures that the goalkeeper will have enough time to get under it, catch it and to start a counter attack for their team. Kick it too low and the defender placed at the edge of the six yard box will be able to easily clear the ball. Ideally the ball will be 12 to 15 feet in the air at its highest point to clear the first defender, but also to ensure the goalkeeper is not able to come out and get it. To avoid missing out on some great corner kick plays, grab the book I've written on soccer passing and receiving using the link.